Hi, I'm Brian London, and you're watching Market One Minute. We're here with Ron Thiessen of HDI. Ron, HDI is the quintessential exploration development company in the junior space with a number of companies concentrating in a number of different regimes for a number of different metals and minerals. You have an, a really an unparalleled perspective, and after watching this market over many cycles, of where we are right now in the market. Where do you think the junior space is, and where do you think the opportunities may lie? You're right, Brian. I've been through a couple of these cycles, and uh, it's almost like they happen on a decade-by-decade -decade basis, 87, 97. Reliably. Yeah. yeah, and then, I mean, we had a, a bit of a downer, in, a big downer in 2008, but that was a financial crisis, not, not really a metal cycle issue. Mm -hmm. So we've had a very long leg in this up cycle, which turned around starting in late 2011, 2012. I actually think we're bumping along the bottom right, right now. We're looking for a reason mm -hmm. to come up. And next year, I think zinc's going to hit home. So I think we've got, you know, over the next 12, 24 months, some good news coming. And that's really what this market needs. It, it needs a catalyst. It needs some good news. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll start to see it recover, especially in the producers initially. But then that always makes Filters its way down, down. Right. Into, the, into the juniors. And that's what Hunter Dickinson's looking at is, I tell people, if you aren't buying today, you're not going to make a ton of money tomorrow. If you're, if you're a momentum trader, then you're going to wait, and the market's, the market's going to be there in front of you. So uh, I believe people should be adding to their portfolios in this kind of a situation. Many other markets are very frothy, peaky, and uh, you know, I'm t I've been talking to some generalists, and they are looking around what's been beat up and what can we buy. There's nothing more beat up than the junior sector. Yeah. And we're all looking for the turnaround and trying to figure out when that turnaround will come. But when you look at the degree of the potential rebound, we can afford to wait a while because when that rebound comes, the, the, the reward's going to be pretty significant, right? I, I agree. I believe there's some tremendous opportunities out there in the junior sector. I mean, there's some companies with some great assets that are being, you know, beat up so badly because nobody wants to be in the public sector. Even the portfolios, because they mark to market quarterly, they want to stay out. Right. I, I'm finding it for Hunter Dickinson, for HDI, it's easier to raise money for our private companies than it is our public companies. Oh, really? And that's purely the mark to market. People think right. that the opportunities right. are there. The reality is the public sectors are beat up far more than the private sectors. And. In HDI, you have a fairly broad portfolio of companies, which then also reflect the underlying metals and minerals that they're exploring for or developing. What are some of the, uh, the, the companies that you, in your portfolio that you think offer uh, unique opportunity right now? We do focus on a, on a broad spectrum of metals. I, I would have to say within the group, our favorite metal or metal mix would be, and, and deposit type are porphyries. That, that seems right. to be our bread and butter, you know, having done You've had a lot of success Milligan, in that area, Camas, right? yeah. uh, Gibraltar, mm -hmm. Prosperity, um, Jatongman in Tibet, and, mm -hmm. uh, and Pebble in Alaska and Florence in Arizona. We particularly like copper gold porphyries or polymetallic porphyries, but we also see a great market in the zinc side of the business. So we've got a few zinc opportunities. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a, a massive zinc play in, in Poland that's well advanced. The resource is well defined. Um, we've got a next door neighbor that has been mining this particular horizon right. for the last 50 years. So we, we've got a lot of empirical evidence of what the development costs, what the operating costs would be like. So, you know, um, sometimes my partners don't like the terminology I use. I, Hunter Dickinson is about rediscovery. We like assets that somebody has done a fair amount of work on, mm -hmm. and, and then the opportunity for us to come in and, with a few more exploration dollars, unlock the opportunity in that, that asset. I mean, certainly Pebble Northern Dynasty, that was the case. Florence Copper in Arizona, I mean, prior operators had run up about $150 million of the work in that project and taking it to complete permitting and a pilot operation. So we had empirical evidence on everything. We did, technically didn't have to drink it, drill a single hole, just renew the permits. Well, somebody who is used to the excitement of exploration and discovery or rediscovery, it's got to be a bit frustrating to you to run into these permitting problems at Pebble, I imagine. It's no question. I frame it like, you know, a discovery size and scale comes with not only its opportunities and its rewards, it also comes with its challenges. And right. so the larger the opportunity, sometimes the larger the challenge. We want to develop these assets and we want to ensure that we understand 
and manage and mitigate risks so that we can enjoy a healthy environment, healthy working standards, and the money that these things can make. Ron, you and your team have been so successful over so many years in this market. It's been a great pleasure talking to you today and getting your perspectives. Thanks so much. Thank you, Brian.